So if you thought there were no more fantastic extensions which you could use to improve your automatic one experience, then think again, because I'm about to bring you 10 amazing extensions, and I guarantee you, at least half of them will be useful. So hit that like button, and let me give it to you bite sized. So our first extension is Haku IMG, and this allows you to modify images through blending, adding effects, and other image adjustments, all within the user interface. You can adjust the saturation, brightness, sharpness, and even add pixelation or other image effects. For example, with our layers, we can add multiple images and then control the blending between the images, the opacity, and the blurriness of the mask or blend mode, which can be useful for creating a unique effect. The Effect tab is where you can control various post-processing effects on your image, such as the temperature, brightness, saturation, and even noise and sharpness. This can help you avoid having to regenerate images to capture that ideal type of look. Then finally, the other tab will allow you to stretch the colors of your image outwards to increase its size, flip the image's orientation, and use custom EXIF data, which is information stored within the image itself. This extension is great if you want to restore lost saturation or contrast in a generated image or touch up a final piece with minimal tools and without having to use external software. Our next extension is StylePal, and this extension has the fantastic ability to automatically style your images based on options you select within the script, helping you avoid having to describe your styles within the prompt itself, using parentheses, or even downloading specialized models to achieve the intended effect. For example, if I were to generate an image using the vector art image type, you get this interesting piece which looks far better than if you were to use those descriptors in our prompt to try and replicate the effect. There are also additional options like setting the concept, direction, mood, and controlling the color of the image, such as making black and white images, which can be difficult to achieve through prompting alone. You can even choose an artist like Arthur Adams or an art movement like Cyberpunk for even more varied results. Now, this doesn't always work perfectly and the results can vary depending on the type of checkpoint you're using, so consider experimenting with different checkpoints to see what provides the best results for your needs. I'll be doing a full tutorial on this amazing extension in future, but for the time being, you can adjust those drop downs to impact the style of your image if you're a beginner. Now, this next extension should have been on my original list, but the Stable Diffusion Web UI state will ensure that your web UI parameters are preserved even when you reload the page or shut down Stable Diffusion, and this can be extended to preserve everything in the user interface, including a few supported extensions. After installing, you will have to navigate to Settings, then State, ensuring you enable the options you want preserved, and then applying the settings and restarting the user interface for this to work, as these options are not enabled by default. This is nice to have running in the background, so when you shut down Stable Diffusion, you can pick up where you left off without having to start from scratch. Now, Mio Shoye Assistant is another management tool which can enhance your web UI, making it easier to perform tasks without having to leave the user interface. With this tool, you can modify your boot settings within the user interface. Instead of having to change the notepad file, you can view your models and civil type prompts from the example images to easily grab suggested settings. You can also search for and download models from within the user interface, saving you having to navigate externally. And you can also connect ChatGPT to Stable Diffusion so it can write prompts for you. This is extremely useful because it saves you valuable time as you don't have to navigate to websites and have multiple tabs open to get the information you want. Now I'm about to blow your mind with this next extension. MiniPaint is a small image editor plus painting tool located fully within the user interface, similar to GIMP or Photoshop. You have editing tools, shapes, filters, layers, text, color correction, and image manipulation, allowing you the tools to modify your image in ways which can help you achieve better results when combined with Stable Diffusion. But this isn't a full feature set like Photoshop, it's a very basic free to use photo editor which allows you the convenience of having access to it within the user interface so you can quickly adjust and continue generating your images. Then there's InPaint Anything which allows you to take an image and generate detailed segmentation maps from that image and then InPaint the selected areas. Segmentation maps are where objects within an image are masked with different colors allowing you to select them individually and apply in painting. 
This can be very useful for applying details to an aspect of an image, especially environmental pieces where there are small details. You can also use it to correct mistakes in poorly generated images, and if combined with Control Net, you can add new objects to an image and then use InPaint Anything to adjust further. Now, if you hate having to search for an image you previously deleted because you realized it was a pretty good result, Prompt History is another great extension which allows you to save a history of previously used prompts and the images which resulted from that generation. It's a bit like having a browsing history in Google of things you search, except it's for your generated images and probably equally as degenerate. There's not much to say about this extension as it's a simple history browser which functions in the background. Also, there's a bug where you can't delete things within the prompt history as the options aren't clickable, so hopefully this will be fixed in the future, but for the time being, it fulfills its main function. Now this next extension is for the power users who want to save time when experimenting with different prompts and settings. Config Presets allows you to save your image generation settings as a template which you can use later on. This functions like styles, but instead of saving different prompts to use later, you save your settings like CFG scale, upscaling, batch size, refiner and others so you don't have to manually set them up each time. This can be useful for saving the recommended settings for various models you use when generating your images so you don't have to copy and load the generation data and you can instead just have the bits we want waiting for you. Now if you love upscaling your images, consider giving Ultimate SD Upscaler a try as this extension uses a different technique for upscaling images and comes with a variety of options to choose from for professionals. The process which this extension uses for upscaling is to enlarge the image first with the selected upscale, then divide the image into tiles and then paint the tiles. From my research, people have expressed better memory usage where they can upscale to far larger resolutions with zero errors and remove the seams created from the tiles which are upscaled. But because this is performing an in-painting process on the whole image, you get the added benefit of getting finer details within your image when using Control Net to control the in-painting process, and this is used within the image to image section, meaning you can combine it with InPaint Mask to upscale specific portions of the image. And finally, this last extension really should have been in my essential extension video, but the web page close confirmation extension prevents you from accidentally closing your stable diffusion window and losing all of your work by launching a confirmation window before it closes. I'm not sure why this wasn't built in by default, but here's an extension which uses a simple JavaScript to save you the pain of having to start your work from scratch due to a misclick. But to wrap things up, I think that SD Ultimate Upscaler takes the prize for being the most useful extension I've come across recently, with StylePal coming in at a close second. But do you have any extensions to suggest? Share them in the comment section below and be sure to like the video, then subscribe and check the description for links and resources. This is Bite Size Genius and I hope you enjoyed.